If you're one of the many people that didn't get your hands on a pair of Yeezys, well, there's still hope. Thank you, Yeezus. Welcome back to The Drop, I'm Jay Snow. What's up, I'm Cynthia Luciette. So what looked like it was gonna be a textbook Kanye rant at an Adidas press conference actually turned into the announcement for the new Yeezys coming out. That's Yeezy with an I because he can no longer use a Y because he doesn't want to get sued by Nike. It makes sense. So the new Yeezys with an I will be out in June just in time for that summer turn up. Kanye signed up with Adidas after a rocky relationship with Nike ended. Nike did not want to pay Kanye his royalties or give him full creative control over the shoes because he's not an athlete. Yeah, that was their excuse. But Kanye, I remember, came back saying, I go to the garden, I play one-on-one, -on -one, I'm a performance athlete. And that's such a Kanye thing to say. Like, no, you wasn't with us shooting in the gym. You're not an athlete, Kanye, stop. But I don't blame him for leaving because how can you not let the man create? How can you not pay him his royalties? Well, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Just ask Drake, he seems to be happy with Rihanna. Just like Kanye will probably be happy with Adidas, even though they were clearly his second choice to Nike. But I mean, you know, when you think about it, Drake was Rihanna's second choice, because we all know who she wants to be with, but she kind of just ended up with him. It's like, whatever. We're still talking about shoes, right? Just like when Derrick Rose went with Powerade. Like, mm, you should've went with Gatorade. Yeah, because Powerade is like that stuff you don't really want to spend a dollar on, you know? Exactly, and Adidas is the shoes that you don't really want to spend even $40 on. Either way, I don't blame the man for leaving Nike. If you can sit there and say that creating is your oxygen, then God damn it, you deserve to create. Creativity is my oxygen. I have to create. Now let that man create something, Adidas, that looked kind of like the Red Octobers, because those are dope. Honestly, his speech was pretty boring to me, but he was very passionate about it, and I can always appreciate somebody who has passion. Yeah, do you have passion? Like this video if you do. It's always funny to see when Kanye is trying to be like professional Kanye and like, you know, and with these brands. I, I mean, know. nobody knows who these designer names are. He talks as if we know exactly what this creativity problem between him and all these designers are. Like, it's relatable. The world does not know who the f <laughs> some of these guys, we can't pronounce their name. <laughs> I don't even know how he can pronounce their name so damn good. I will say, if he can bring Adidas back, Kanye West can pretty much do anything. I mean, he's almost bringing back Kim K's reputation. So I, I believe in Kanye. You know, I might even buy a pair of these Adidas if they're less expensive than like Jay's or like his Air Yeezy. I don't like the fact that people think it's cool to pay 250 for shoes now. Who's making these shoemakers believe that's okay? Either way, this is the most anyone has talked about Adidas since the Run DMC days. So it was definitely a good move for them. What do you think? Will the new Yeezys by Adidas live up to the Air Yeezys from Nike? Probably not. Leave a comment below. Yes, also make sure you ask us questions. Just use the hashtag ask to drop and post a comment below. Anything in the world that you want to know and we'll answer it. And subscribe to All Deaf Digital. I'm Jay Snow. I'm Cynthia Luciette. See you tomorrow.